uh, the other employee is Erica that we need to set up. So I'm going to say new employee and then let's set up Erica. And this is here. I'm going to say Smith is her last name. And we're going to say that the social security 564-574941 female. This is going to be 123197. We're going to say that she is married and citizen. Yes. I'm not going to do the ethnicity. I'm going to say disabled. No. And then we got, we got yes and no on the military status. Address is going to be at 9425 Sunset Boulevard in Beverly Hills, California, 90210-555-671-5174. Let's put some dashes in there. Dash, dash. So there's that. Let's go to the additional information. Let's go to the payroll information. So the default is going to be monthly. That looks correct. We're going to set up a new item. Let's make her hourly uh, just for contrast. So I'm going to have to set up a new item because we don't have it set up yet. Tab, set it up. It's going to be an hourly item. That looks correct. Regular pay looks correct. It's going to be hourly. That looks correct. Uh, payroll expenses. That's the expense account that's going to be hit. Looks correct. Finish it up. And so then we're going to say the hourly rage will be... Let's say it's $16, $16 for the hourly wage. And then we'll go to the uh, taxes up top, which we would get from the W-4. We're gonna, I'll make it to the 2020 or later again. I'm gonna say, okay. And we have, let's put married this time. This is information we get from the W-4. I'm gonna keep all this as the default. So two jobs only, if there are only two jobs total, uh, claim dependents, other income deductions, extra subject to Medicare, Social Security, federal income tax. I'm not going to do anything for the state to try to keep it generic, even though I'm in kind of California here. Continue. And I'm going to say OK and continue. So I'm not going to set up the sick pay or do anything else related to that. We'll keep it uh, basically generic. And then employee information down below. We've got the higher date. Let's actually bring this back to January of 2022. We'll just do it at the beginning of the year. Original hire date, adjusted service date, release date, employee type, regular versus officer, statutory owner. This could help you to kind of sort your employees if you have a lot of employees by different categories. Full-time, part-time, seasonal, exempt. These are all fields that can help you kind of sort and organize your uh, employees total uh, supervisor so we'll keep that as is I'm gonna say okay and uh, it says do you wish to say no I'm gonna say leave as is to keep it generic let's edit this one I'm gonna right click and edit Adam again I thought I said did I set him up mail I set and then we'll set this to January so we can process payroll uh, actually we're gonna set it up January 2023 I'm working in 2020 I'm working in the future I'm working in the future so we'll do it right here and I'll say okay and then I'll change uh, Erica again so let's edit this one and where's her first name doesn't seem to be showing up print on paycheck why isn't Erica Smith well, that was weird and employee information let's make this 2023 january let's do that okay okay we might have to do some touch-ups but okay i see what's happening here i'm going to double click on her again i put her last name in the middle area and i don't know what oh i have a title i see okay so this is erica smith okay so there we have it. Now I'm going to say, okay, there it looks good. 